Hey everyone. Good morning. <laughs> it must be Thursday here in Peabody, Massachusetts because I'm having connection problems. I hope that that won't continue, but it seems to happen <clears throat> only on Thursdays, which is very odd. So good morning to everyone. <clears throat> I hope you are well. Um, this morning on Cricut Chat, we're going to be working on some Halloween tags. Um, and it's a kind of in response to something that's happening with us locally. And that is, um, there was a big question over, should we have Halloween here in, um, in our town? And Halloween's a really big deal here. Trick-or-treating especially is a really big deal for us here in, um, in Peabody. And I think that that's because we are the city closest to Salem and Salem is considered the Halloween cap capital or the witch city or whatever you want to call it. Um, good morning. And, and, um, so it was always like a bit of a competition, um, competing with Salem, Massachusetts. Um, as you know, like it's become like a real tourist destination, especially in the month of October. And usually uh, as a person who lives on a main road that leads directly to um, Salem, there's a lot of, you know, traffic. It's sort of like tourist traffic um, for, for the beaches, but in this case, it's for Halloween. And so it's sort of like a little thing here at um, um, in in Peabody that we kind of like make a big deal out of Halloween, but in Peabody. And last year they had this wonderful little um, fall presentation. And my son was actually um, the mascot at the fire department, Sparky. Um, Sparky the fire dog at the fire department handing out you know, trick-or-treating goodies, and um, that was a huge deal for him. He was so excited. Anyway, so with COVID going around, everybody's like, oh, what's going to happen with trick-or-treating? And people were really literally upset. So the mayor, um, who is just such a fabulous guy anyway, but the mayor um, sent out a message last night asking um, people to it's okay to do trick-or-treating, but to avoid parties. And instead of handing out individually wrapped uh, candies, he wanted to see if people would be open to, um, to doing uh, uh, like go bags, take and go bags for kids. And I've been actually doing this for a while with my son because <clears throat> I don't know if, um, I mentioned this at all, probably did, but my son goes to a special school and now he's grown up a little bit more, but they really make a big deal there about costumes. I know they don't do it at the local school, but um, his school is for kids that, you know, that are struggling um, in the regular schools. And so, um, yeah, I know the Facebook connection, I don't know, it must, it might be on my side, so I apologize, but um so anyway, every year, especially when he was nonverbal, I would put together like little treat bags um, with candies and such because for him, um, he really had a problem with going out in the dark and trick-or-treating. He he loved the costumes. He loved the, the idea of Halloween and he still dresses up, but being outside in the dark was really a tough tough thing for him. So, um, so what I would do is I'd make kind of a big deal of the school celebration. And now that he's older, I'm looking more towards what's going on in my community. And I thought, okay, how can I cricketize this? And I thought of these tags that I've made before. And um, they are really simple tags that, um, that I've cut out. I especially like this one, this pumpkin. It just reminds me of those plastic pumpkins pumpkins that a lot of us had when we went trick-or-treating. And um, this is actually, as is this, uh, these are our cricket 
um, design space images. And this one here, I put actually a saying on there. This is what I would do with my son's school. I would say, you know, um, happy Halloween from Owen, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I, I just want to show you how you could do this on the back. And that's what we're doing today. So um, let me just jump in and get started. Hi, everyone. Yeah, these are great tags. And before I even start, um, the plastic pumpkins, right? Yeah, they're so cute. A banner is a good idea for these as well. And you can make this pumpkin separate from the tag, which is really cool. Um, because it's it's literally just like this piece, this piece. And then you do have to put the eyes and the mouth on. And I'm going to show you how they go together fairly simply. Um, and I have a whole bunch here. And then it's also a witch's hat. Um, and then what I really like about where I got this image or these images is it comes from an old cartridge, of course, um, but it comes from an old cartridge that also has like fall and Thanksgiving gift tags. And one of the things that I love to do at Thanksgiving, I think a lot of people do too, is to bake. Um, and I will make like breads, like pumpkin bread and, you know, those kinds of breads, like banana bread and all that stuff. And generally speaking, I would just wrap them in tin foil, but I love to make these little tags and stick them on with like ribbons. Um, and it just makes it look so festive and so cute. So I'm going to show you where to find all of these and we can play around with the um, pumpkin images or any of the other images there as well. So Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. It's Thursday, October. Oh my goodness, it's getting, is it the 15th already? So it's halfway through the month. So let's get on with the show. So here are these two, but there are there are many more. Um, so here's where I went to get them. I'm going to move these over here. So when I pull them in, um, you will you will see them. You won't see them. Okay, so I'm going to go to images. I start with my canvas. And by the way, if you want this file, I'm happy to share it. Um, I have made some adjustments to it. So, you know, I'm going to show you what the adjustments are. But, um, but I'll give you the file as well. But they are just Cricut Design Space images. So let's go to images. And we're going to go to image set. And there is a very giant, it's it's really literally giant um, image set called Autumn Celebrations. And so I'm going to look for Autumn, 10 weeks until Christmas. Oh, Linda, don't remind me. <laughs> We're going to do Christmas stuff. Cranberry pear tree, very tea. That's very nice. Sounds delicious. Save me some. Okay, so Autumn Celebrations is one of those big, like, used to be um, in a cartridge, like, it was a big score if you got it, if you got it um, back when the days of cartridges, because it covers everything from back to school, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh Dia de los Mortes, um, some also St. Andrew's Day, uh, some Columbus Day stuff, and then just, uh, oh, even Labor Day, you know, and, and um, I think also just some fall stuff and some, anyway, so it's a huge, huge deal um, here. And they've actually, if you type in Autumn in image sets, you'll see or at least that used to be this way. They used to break this. Yeah, here it is. So here's Autumn Celebrations, and it's all broken up in, in uh, Halloween images, uh, Thanksgiving, and school. So, But I don't think that they're as, um, what's the word, uh, complete as going to the the... Uh, image set itself. So let's do that. So autumn celebrations. And there are a number of really cute cards here. There are images. And you definitely want to go through and look at them. But what I'm looking at, I'm just now seeing this one from the Dia, Dia, 
de los muertos um is is the su- sugar skull ki- skull face sugar skull um uh, I'm tongue tied this morning so um but I want to point out here's like for instance here's like a cute little acorn there's a pie tag which would look good on my on my pies there's a kitty cat um and these are all the ta- uh all the tags there's a really great turkey one. Um, I particularly like this cat, but it's not in keeping with uh, what we're doing today. But we might make a banner out of him. I think it's he's really cute. So um, let's see. And here's where I found the uh, witch hat. And then I think that the, where is my, my pumpkin one? Because I'm pretty sure I found it here. This turkey one's pretty cool. And this one here for Thanksgiving is is nice. But where's my pumpkin? Where's my pumpkin? I'm how is it? It's got to be here. Oh, there it is. So there's the pumpkin right there. And then there's also the pumpkin in a trick or treat thing. And I'm pretty sure here it is in color. And what did I miss the the tag itself? I may have missed the tag. No, here it is. So here is the tag. So I'm going to pull that in. um, And I'm going to also pull in, let's see, this. And where's my, I'll pull this in. And where is my witch hat? Uh, That's a pilgrim hat. Witch hat is right all right, well, if I don't find it, then we don't pull it. In. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to pull those those images in. Yes, you absolutely could put them on a card, Sarah, but um today we're we're just doing these tags, but yeah, you could put them on a card and there are actually cards. I re- particularly love this one. I think it would look really good as like um a sticker which so you could flatten it say like this and you could do a print then cut and make this a sticker um which i think is a great idea and maybe put it on these little treat bags but um so in terms of treat bags uh here's what i was thinking i was thinking that um i'd have these little things and i could either put a saying on the back or not that's up to you what you want to do and so here is the one that i like now these come in small i generally make my tags pretty big um i usually make them about four and a half sometimes up to like six um, inches, but four and a half seems about right. And then I get those cellophane bags and just wrap in curling ribbon the treats. So that way the kids can just grab and go with the, with the, um, that's what I'm thinking. The kids will grab and go and they don't have to pick among you know, among the uh, treats, which is what they usually do. So um, I particularly like this one, but I don't like the coloring. Um, and and the, it's something off about it. I think it's because the inside of the pumpkin is light, which I understand, but the black, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So here is what I have done. So I will um, ungroup this image. And we're going to take off this. Now, I'm going to change this color anyway, but like, I mean, I could change it to this or whatever color I want to do. And I'm going to use a um, nice patterned paper to to put on the back of it. And the thing about the patterned paper is it's the one-sided patterned paper. So I'm going to show you how to, how to trick your... Um, system so that you can uh, then you can then uh, do the writing on the back okay so um, let's take this pumpkin and again I don't like that the pumpkin is orange the outline of the pumpkin so I'm going to change him to black um, which it seems better to me and um it's actually the way that it is over here it's black but now i want for because if i put this on here now you you can't see the orange of the pumpkin so here's what i do i duplicate the pumpkin 
And then I use contour. Um, it's down here. Contour is down here on the bottom right hand part of your screen. And what it does is with a simple image, and what I mean by simple, it's a single layered image, okay, um, that you can take out pieces of it. So I'm going to contour and you notice that it comes up and here are all the pieces. So I can either go through and um, click on different things or I can choose hide all contours and then it will just leave one which is the outline. Actually that's what I want and also where the handle is okay. So um, this is what I end up with when I do the contour and I did keep that handle out but I want to change the color so I go up here next to line type and I choose orange. Now once I do that, I'm going to put this over it. So I have to hit Arrange, Send to the Front, because I want to see if it looks okay. And indeed, that's the way that I want it to look. And that's the way I, it, I see it over here on the Trick or Treat as well. So, um, and then I'm going to also keep this background because this tag actually has a bump out here. Um, but if we didn't have that bump out, say for instance, you wanted to do this with another image um, and you wanted to do a bump out, you can also do that by taking the, um, let's see, let's see, we we'll go to um, images and we just choose, let's just go back here and just choose a tag of any kind. And um, let's see, so here's a basic tag, right? So let's say we wanted to, let's move these over. So we wanted to take this, that would be like a print and cut, right? And we want to arrange to the front and we wanted it to like be overlapping a little bit to show that this tag was specifically for this image. Let's say, see that? So it's bumped out on the side. So if you wanna create that bump out on the side, what you'll have to do is ungroup this. Hold on, ungroup. Why am I having a hard time? Okay. Oh, I switched it to uh, print and cut. I don't wanna do that. Okay, so I have to ungroup it. Um, and I have to switch these over from print. I don't want print. So if you happen to, um, by the way, if you happen to flatten your image and it switches to print, you just have to go up here to line type and right next to it is fill, okay? And we'll go over fill um, in, in another segment, but fill is great if you want to do, uh, for instance, um, things like having your own photo be part of the image, if that makes sense. Um, and so there's, th there, we'll go over that because it's, it's, it's a topic in and of itself. Okay, so I have gone ahead and I have un made them not flattened and I'm gonna take this part here, the base, or I could even take this circle part, you see? And I'm going to, I'm make this a little bit smaller. So let's say I have this for, and I want the bump outs to be sort of there. What, what, what I would do is I would, actually before I did that, I think I would duplicate this circle. Okay. So then what I would do is, is choose both of them and I would um, attach them or weld them. Actually, I'm gonna weld them. All right, and so there, it's not very pronounced, but there you can see that there, is, there are these bump outs on the side. So for instance, if you wanted to replicate this, so, and you had, I don't know, a bat, and you wanted the bat to be sort of bumped out, that's how you would do it, okay? But it's kind of off topic, and I apologize for that. But um, anyway, so here are the three tags. Now, one of the things you have to be careful with this, with this, um, with this particular pumpkin is, um, the eyes and nose. Cause when you cut this out, you see it will cut out as a, 
outline of the pumpkin. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so it cuts out as an outline of the pumpkin. So when you're taking it off of your mat, you're going to be left with the mouth and the um, eyes, and actually, in some cases, the nose. Yeah, this, I don't know why I didn't keep the noses here, but here we go. So here's the 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 um, mouth with the nose and the eyes right? And that's what we're going to put this together. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. But before I get to that, I want to show you how to add writing to the tag. So we'll do that with, um, let's do that with, let me move these guys out of the way. Let's do that with um, the witch hat, okay? Um, okay, so here's the witch hat. Let's ungroup this. And this is going to be the cutout that we're gonna use for the front of the, of the tag, so right here. And then we're going to use patterned paper, not the purple, although you could use the purple, but we wanna put a, a, a sentiment on the back, okay? So what we're going to do is we can just add a text box. So this is what I put before, happy, trick I'm spelling it wrong but happy trick or trading or you could do your name like so for instance if you're giving it out as a kid at school you might want to say um, happy Halloween love you know Owen or whatever or a teacher making these and I have switched this to um to a writing font. So all I had to do there was I created a text box and then I chose writing as the font. And then I'm going to make it small or small enough that it's going to fit on the back of my um, tag, right? And don't get all caught up in the fact that you're using pattern paper. You're going to be using one-sided pattern paper. So we're going to select both the tag and the writing, and we are going to attach them. Attaches down here. It looks like a paper clip. Okay. So now when you click on this, the writing is attached almost like in a paper clip fashion. Um, it to the card. Now, when we go to cut these out, we need to put our paper, it's this simple, but we need to take our patterned paper and put it the pattern side face down. So that way, when doing the writing, it's going to write on the back. And then when you take it off, so let me show you what that looks like. So here is this that I cut out and I put it on my mat pattern size down and just used my pen. This is the pen that I used and I did the happy trick or treating. And I don't know if you guys want to see that or not, but it's a pretty basic thing with, with, um, with doing the writing on the back of a card. And then you just flip it over and then you take whatever you want to put on the front, whether it's the witch's hat or whatever. And then you're putting it on here and you have a completed gift tag, just like that. Okay. Um, so let me show you how these go together, at least the pumpkin ones. Uh, it's really, this is really a very simple project. You can make, what's great about it is if, even if you make them like five inches, um, five is a good size, but if, if you make them like around five, four and a half, whatever, um, you can get quite a few of them onto a page. So let me just select these and I'm going to hide. Well, okay. Hide this. So let's say I wanted to just make the, the witch's hat and I'd hit make it. So right here we have, you don't have to duplicate in your canvas. You can just duplicate here by changing your copies. So we can change it to, I don't know, let's try seven. Um, okay. So seven's a little bit, uh, 
is a little bit, it's, it's using up a lot of paper, but remember we can go ahead and move them here to another mat by doing move object. So we move it to another mat and often we'll come up on the top left-hand side. So I can put four on here. Or if I think that I'm gonna use up too much paper, I can go back to my canvas and I can make this smaller. So this is right now cutting at five, almost six inches. And if I make it just a little scotch smaller, maybe just at five total height, let's try that. And then we go to make it and we choose a quantity of, what did we say, seven, seven before? Now we get six on a sheet, right? So what I would do in this case is I would change the copies to six. Then I have two mats, okay? And then I would just cut the mats duplicated. So rather than having seven with that one extra, um, hat there, I would duplicate. Or the other thing too is you can make it 12 and then you end up with two and two. So you can cut six and six and you can even use different paper colors if you wanted to. And then for instance, with your patterned paper, you can use different pattern paper to do the backs of these. So there are all these little tricks that by knowing that you can change the project copies and you can kind of manipulate where the images go, you can save yourself some paper and also you can get as many as you need. Like I'm thinking I'm going to need, I don't know, at least 25 or 30 of these. So this plan works for me because then I can, I can make 24 of these in no time at all. Okay. So let me show you how they go together. So I'm going to move you down here. So again, we have two different styles. We have this, which is the witch's hat. I think I cut this at four and a half inches. And I did cut the pumpkin one a little bit larger because I just love this pumpkin. And yes, it could definitely be used for something else and would look really great on a card. So definitely keep in mind that that exists, okay? So here's the pumpkin one. And here is how it goes together. So here is the tag. I didn't put anything on there yet or didn't put anything on this particular one. And here is my orange pumpkin. And then here is the outline in black. So I have to use my glue and you do definitely need some sort of precision tip or however way I use this glue. You don't have to use this glue, but um, a precision tip really does help with something like this. And you can see I have my precision tip on there. And I have to also put the glue on the handle. And then I'm just gonna lay it over the pumpkin, the pumpkin colored cutout. And you shouldn't be able to see that pumpkin cutout on the handle, for instance. So, mm -mm -mm. okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm having a, a little bit of a problem here. Okay. All right, so there is our pumpkin cutout, but now we have to put on the mouths and the mouth, the mouth, <laughs> and we have to put on the, where is my, I have to get it off of the, here, the eyes and the nose. So here we go. So there's a mouth and you can just go ahead and place them there where you think that they should go. Now these pieces are a little bit small. And so what I would suggest do the do the um, mouth first. It kind of helps with the placement. Then you can know where the nose and the mouth go. So it actually, see this little tooth there goes here, right in that middle piece, right? 
And then instead of putting the glue on the eyes and the nose, what I do is put the little bit of glue on the actual pumpkin. And that way I'm not struggling with glue and everything. And I just sort of place him where I know he should go, the nose should go. Um, but you can certainly, if you wanna put the glue on the piece like this, you could do it that way as well. And refer to your image so you can make sure that it looks the way you want to. Now, if you want to change up the, the, the face, you could do that as well. But I just love this one. It just reminds me of my youth. And um, so here is the tag that I cut out. And you don't have to, you know, I, I don't even know where I got this particular paper from. I think I got it quite a while ago. But I like the colors so, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on that handle again. And then just using the bump outs as a guide, put it on there. And that is our tag. So cute, right? Um, and then as far as the the witch's hat goes, this one here, this is the one we wrote on the back. So we're going to just use our precision tip and we're gonna put some glue on these little pieces here. And glue, 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 glue. Just a little bead of glue and turn it over. And there you go. This is, a, as I said, this is a great project to do with your joy. Um, it's a great little project to do with your young kids if, you know, or your grandkids if you want to um, have like a little thing before, before uh, Halloween or something. Or again, don't need to use it just for Halloween. There's Thanksgiving, there's fall, there's back to school. So keep in mind this image set called Autumn Celebrations. I'll just go back and just show you again. And I will give you the file for this, so don't worry. Yeah, I agree. It would make a really nice banner. So under Images, go to Image Sets and type in the word Autumn. Right? And it is, and I think I spelled it wrong. How do I spell it wrong? Autumn. Okay. And it's called Autumn Celebrations. It has 345 images on there. You're not going to run out of ideas um, to do for the fall holidays for these. I mean, like I said, there's St. Andrew's Day, Oktoberfest. What is this? Guy Fox Day. Um... Thanksgiving, Grandparents' Day. There's tons of stuff here. So um, if you're not into Halloween and you like to do things like uh, Thanksgiving, whatever, um, and we will do Christmas card, uh, Christmas tags. And we have a couple of really great Christmas tags. But um, I wanted to show people these because this is really, it's so, it's so important um, right now for me because I, we're handing out these grab-and-go bags but also uh, I've done this with my son growing up um, with when he brings stuff to school. Anyway, and I agree, it would make a wonderful banner. These these uh, pumpkins would make wonderful banners. And they do also have that uh, pumpkin without the tag. So right here is the pumpkin without the tag. So you could just grab that put a backing behind it because this one does not have a backing. So you just grab it again and bring it in. Let's say make it bigger. Okay. And then you would duplicate this image. All right. Let me just move that out of the way. Duplicate the image. Go to contour. Here's contour. All right, so you see we can um, shade out some of these things. And what we wanna do is choose hide all contours here and then just make sure that we bring in underneath there. And here we go. We could turn this black if we wanted. 
And then there you go. Um, I think it was Aledra uh, who wanted to make this uh, a banner. And there you go. Um, so that that's a great way to make a banner or even just individual um decorations or something like that. It just reminds me of the 60s and 70s for some reason. I love this image. Okay, um, that's going to do it for me for today. Tomorrow, I have a special, uh, special thing to show you tomorrow, and that is we're going to make our own card from scratch and using a technique it's a it's called cutout technique and i'm going to show you exactly how to put together a card for any occasion um but i will be demonstrating thanksgiving fall um uh, uh Halloween, and then a couple of Christmas ones. So you are going to want to watch this tomorrow because it's a really simple technique that it really, it just looks so, so great, very professional. So you definitely want to uh, tune in tomorrow. And it is my design, so I'm happy to share it with you. Again, come back if you're looking for this particular file, and I will put it in the description of the video. If you're watching this on the replay, you can find the file in the description of um, this video. And thank you so much for watching. If you don't already subscribe and follow, definitely subscribe and follow. Really do appreciate that. And we'll see you again. Um, yes, from scratch, Daryl. And it is my own design and I use it all the time. And it's a wonderful little project and I'm going to give it to you because I love you guys. So thanks so much for coming today. We'll see you again tomorrow and you have a wonderful day. Bye.